Yeah. It's Joey Sparks. That's too easy to know why. You heard me. That's too easy to know why. And in this video, nothing too crazy, but I want to tell a story. I want to tell you a story about how I got into shooting music videos to begin with. Once again, if you're rocking with us, please do me a favor. Hit that subscribe button below. Like the video. Share with a friend. Leave me a comment. Tell me if you like what I'm doing. Tell me if you want me to do something else. Make friends with me. Link up with me in the comments and let's bang against those who disagree with us. You down? I right, bet. So let me tell you a story about a young Joey Sparks trying to figure out his way in life, right? Um, my younger brother and I fell in love with hip hop as many did in the 80s, right? Um, the late 80s and then, you know, what I considered the golden era, which would be the 90s, right? Um, one, one day I wrote a rap, right? And I thought it was pretty good. And I woke up the next morning and I delivered it to my younger brother. And then my younger brother said, that was great. I too <laughs> have wrote a rap. And he spit something for me that really put me in my place and made me realize, man, this boy is nice. I don't do this. He, he do this. And so I just kind of stepped back, you know, took a back seat to, you know, just, I don't know, the front of the camera, the spotlight, the artistry in that ma manner, just because I, you know, literally arms length. One degree of separation. My younger brother is way more talented than me. She, he was way more talented than ha half the people that were out at the time. Like he was really, really in his bag. When he was really, really in his bag, that boy was nice, man. Um, we, uh, at, at that time, uh, about this time, MySpace was starting to come out, right? And... Everybody was, you know, creating their MySpace page and they was putting pictures of what they were doing and, you know, rappers or aspiring rappers, they get them, get them photos of them on stage or something like that. And to me, I just thought, yo, what if we could put video in there? Like, what if video would be tight? And, you know, my brother is a rapper and he gonna need a puffy to his biggie, you know, so in steps me. <clears throat> and at the time, my mom had a digital camera, a digital camera, not a DSLR, <laughs> and not a GoPro. Not your phone. No, no, no. Before they added the camera strictly into the phone, and that's where we took pictures from, they sold digital cameras. This is in between, you know, anyways. Um, and on those digital cameras that took photos, this one that my mom had allowed you to take up to three minutes at a time worth of video. And I ran with that. And I tried shooting a music video for my younger brother um, in his apartment up in Iowa City. It was kind of cool. Uh, but then it, it, then that made me, they kind of like, it kind of like inspired me like, yo, I could really do this. Right. <clears throat> and so I proceeded on to get what I thought would be good cameras at the time, which I didn't know, which was like handheld, you know, like home movie handy cams and stuff like that. And I would say the JVC series, I got a couple of them, wasted tons of money in there. No lens switching, no, you know, single layer retinas, none of that stuff. None of that stuff. Literally looking like your uncle was hired to, to film the stuff. But it did teach me the editing software. The basics. And then it came time to want to color. And, you know, that's when I learned I had to I had to up my stuff, right? Well, I took some time off because I moved out here to Colorado. I met my wife. Raising a family and getting married took priority, but then it was time for me to go back to school. And I told her I want to go for school for something. I'm not sure exactly how I'm going to make money in, which was film and video production. And I went to this school that was literally like a placement and it puts you with, you know, local production houses in your area and you can intern for them and you learn that way. And I did one up in Denver, I did one down here, and then I learned more on YouTube than I did ever. And then I knew it was time to start and figure out how to do this on my own. So at this time, since MySpace, I quit doing social media. So I didn't have a Facebook, I didn't have Instagram. Damn sure didn't have anything else. I barely had a YouTube account. And so, and I'm in a new town because I'm not from here, right? <laughs> And so I had to kind of figure out where the music scene was at. So I got some social media 
and kind of made some friends with my wife's friends who were all from out here. And then I kind of saw like a, a night of live music flyer promoted and I saw the artists were all tagged in it. And I was like, oh, this is perfect. So I went and just started hitting them artists up in the, the DMs. Yo, man, I'm offering free, free music videos to build my portfolio. And I did. I did five free music videos. All then they were all linked up from that one flyer. That flyer had like 30 people on it. And I was able to land like five people who took me serious. And I still thank them to this day. And off of them five people, I was able to parlay uh, that locomotion into, you know, uh, a reputation and a portfolio and, you know, clients, clients that grew into friends, business consorts and everybody out here just off of, you know, getting that social media scoping out that flyer and who was tagged in it and just offering free um and if there was a side note to this story it would be like when you starting off in a craft specifically like this who uses one of these cameras offer some of that free stuff to the right people and that puts you in position to really like do some things or grow in the craft um no matter where you're at and so that's what it, it was is like i got in love with filming music videos because the music scenes in me me and my brother from where we're from and i've been watching hip-hop videos since i've been a youngster knee high to a grasshopper shout out e40 and then you know i just parlayed that knowledge of film and then that instinctual you know musicality and how to like um cut and make effects to the beat which i think i do exceptionally well and then also demanding that things were done my way and not just you know just showing up to anybody and doing whatever they said just meet me here and shoot nah i want to know where it's at because i want to see it ahead of time so i could tell you what time of day we got to be there the sun dictates what what time we show up there you know and that has prolonged my the, I don't know my reputation to know that uh, there's some quality aspect to mine that, you know, I'm not the best effects, man. I'm never going to strive to be the best effects, man. I got some effects in my bag and I tried to use them when I see fit, but there's got to be a motivation behind it. Like I said, I went to, I went to film school, Jack. And so like, like I want, I want some motivation behind my stuff. I don't want to just be, you know, just filming shit and then relying on effects to make it fire. You know, I, I just want to film it and make it fire and then have and then have the problem of deciding whether or whether or not I want to add effects to it. So, yeah, that's how I got into music videos. Now, since then, I parlayed that into, you know, like real estate. Um, I do boudoir videos. I do event recaps. I mean, uh, I'm in this lane now where I'm doing business marketing and advertising videos, commercials and stuff like that. Um, so, you know, just starting off in music videos that parlayed me into a career that now pays my bills. So like, I couldn't be happier and I still shoot a music video because it's one of the one places I can get, still get creative, right? Like I can still create, like if I'm filming for your business and we trying to sell your product, it's usually going to be, you know, right not much room to freelance but um you know like when i'm filming a music video i get to play with it is there a storyline i get to say action cut retake get what i need out of the actor or i can you know what this is a performance scene we need to light this dark area oh my god i get to build light and textures and colors and stuff like that yeah man let me do that um that's so much more fun than you know event captures the event captures are cool and you got to be there in the moment to get the stuff but if you plan something man it could be a whole lot cooler and so like i still enjoy doing a music video it's gonna be in my soul it's always gonna be where i'm at but you know since i got these other things on my you know plate now they they're not a, a, as much as a priority you know so but yeah and hey man this is a road anybody can follow if you want to shoot music videos yourself shh, dm me i'll tell you exactly how i don't want no money or anything i'm just gonna tell you about six to seven steps you need to take and then if you follow them before you know you'll be shooting music videos too you know so anyway man once again that's been story time here <laughs> with joey sparks um 
a little break from the reviews, you know, sometimes I just want to talk. Sometimes I want a platform where I can speak my mind. And I thought, you know, what should I talk about today? Well, I don't want to come out the gate with things that are on my mind that are like an issue or something like that. I wanted something kind of positive. So I thought a little history lesson on who I am and how I became that, um, you know, a little review on the path I chose to shoot music videos. And here I am. So, um, yeah, man, I'll catch you on the next video, right? Yo, if you enjoyed this, please hit subscribe, tell a friend, to tell a friend. If you like music videos and stuff like that, I got tons of them to peep out. If you like creating music videos and you have questions, don't hesitate to ask. I'm an open book and I'd love to tell you what I know. All right, man, I'll catch you on the next video, perhaps a review. All right, peace.